Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here. I'm still in my hotel. I'm in a different hotel. I'm finishing up the last few days of the Ghost Shark, the sci-fi film, but I just went to see the new Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Bruce Willis sci-fi film, Looper. And if you haven't seen the film, you know, the trailers and stuff, but basically the concept is that Joseph Gordon-Levitt works as a person that kills people in the future. It's, it's the movie set in like 2040, and at that point in time, there's no such thing as time travel. But 30 years from 2040, there is, and it was outlawed, and basically only gangsters and like the bad people, you know, in that town, like the mafia and people like that, everyone bad, has the um, technology. And they hire people in the, f in the past, and they send people from the future, you know, back to the past, and they end up killing them. So Joseph Levitt's character is a person that ends up killing the people that they send back, so they end up being erased from the future. And there's something going on where um, they, people are starting to, like basically when they want your contract to be over, they would send the future you at that point in time, you know, when this is going on, the current time in the future, back and you have to kill them. So you have to basically kill yourself to be out of the contract. And when you kill yourself, you have gold, you know, you get gold and all this money for doing it so you can just sort of live your life off of on this money. And this is kind of happening. And um, basically, though, um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, the future him, you know, played by Bruce Willis, gets sent back, and he has to kill him, but he ends up getting away, so it ends up becoming all these th things and all the kind of problems. And that's probably pretty much all I'm going to say on it. I will say um, Paul Dano, you know, from Little Miss Sunshine and There Will Be Blood, he has a small part in this. I really do wish he had a little bit bigger role. I almost could have seen him playing one of the bad guys, the one guy who gets his hand hit with the hammer, and you'll see later who it is. But I almost thought he could have played that role, because I really think Paul Dano was a great actor, and it was just a shame that he had a small part. And I, I guess it works in a way, because it's supposed to be like you kind of are upset that because of what happens to his character, and it's very early on, I'm not giving anything away. Um, and it was, you know, a couple people talked about the, um, you know, like Joe Kill in her review was talking about the appliances. And I will agree, like, at first in the beginning, they are a little bit distracting because Joseph Gordon Levitt is wearing like an eyebrow piece and a face thing. Because he had to go through like three hours of makeup each day to make him look a little bit like Bruce Willis. I think he sort of does. I don't think the uh, appliances are exactly, I don't think they were totally needed because still he doesn't really look a ton like Bruce Willis. And, I mean, a little bit, but you kind of, it doesn't really matter, because so many times in these kind of movies, when it's the older version of them, it doesn't look too much like them. But, you know, as for acting in this, it was so very well done, and for, like, these kind of films, these kind of sci-fi movies, this was one of the best ones in a long time. And Joe Kill said the same thing, I totally agree with that, that this really was a very good one. I was very surprised with it. Um, you know, I really like the way they, you know, the ending this movie. I, you know, all in all, though, this is definitely one I would recommend seeing. And, um, you know, it's gotten really good reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, and people really seem to like it um, from what I've seen. Because I haven't read a whole lot, I just sort of looked at a couple little things on it. But all in all, though, this was definitely a really good sci-fi movie, one of the better ones in a long time. A little bit like someone was saying, kind of like Jumper, but kind of like Jumper done far better. Because uh, I did not love Jumper at all. But this really was, like I said, a very good one. The only complaint was I wish Paul Dano was in it more. Um, Emily Blunt did a very good job covering up her accent. I don't, I don't know if she's done any other movies where she covered up her accent, but she really did a good job. Like you, a couple points, almost forget that it's Emily Blunt, because, you know, when you think of Emily Blunt, you're always thinking of Emily Blunt, you know, the real strong accent. It's just very different to see her like this. Um, but all in all, though, I would definitely say this is one worth checking out. Really like this a lot. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing. Also, those wondering, the DVD updates, I have not watched a thing. So when I get back, I'm going to be catching up on everything. I'm going to try and do one within a week after I get back to get a couple things that I've got to show. Um, so there will be one very soon after I get back because i got to play a serious catch-up. i got so much stuff at home to watch. But anyway, though, thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.